Hello, today we will learn about the science of measurement and error analysis in physics or in any experimental science. Error analysis is a very important aspect. But before going to error analysis and science of measurement, you should properly understand what we are going to study, what is the meaning of error, what is the meaning of error analysis, and what are the procedures that we follow to perform this error analysis, and what actually we do in error analysis. So it is that there are many quotes that include the concept of errors and mistakes. One is by Alan Greenspan. He says it is better to be roughly right than precisely wrong. So these, these words roughly and precisely, we have to understand the exact scientific meaning, what we mean by these words, what is roughly and what is precisely, what is right and wrong. And this is the discussion about the theory of errors and the science of measurement, the technique of error analysis in physics or in any experimental science, it is an important, it is an important part. So basically we should first understand what is the concept of error in science? What do we mean when we say error? Now there are famous sayings again, that to err is human. It is very common for humans to To, get some, to do something wrong or to get an error in any action, whether it is scientific measurement or in any work or anything that, that we are doing in our daily life. And this is a very good excuse to defend ourselves whenever we are doing any mistake, that it is very common for human beings to do error. And I also committed an error committed a mistake so i should be i should not be penalized because something happened that on which i didn't have, have any control I, I did not do it intentionally so these two processes are scientifically described in later in the section in this lecture to start with we start with the meaning what is the meaning of error analysis what is the meaning of error in science in physics in chemistry or in any experimental science so whenever we are saying error error implies a, an act error implies a phenomena that causes deviation or to spread away from what we exactly want so let us first understand what is measurement in scientific sense. And this word measurement is very important, especially for physics students who are starting from standard 11 to master's level. They are still, when you are uh, starting to learn physics, the chapter of NCRT or CBSC or ICSC board, the first chapter in standard 11 unit dimension and error analysis. And then you go to higher sciences, quantum mechanics and statistical mechanics, of course, they are inherently, they are intrinsically an, uh, associated with this science of error analysis. So first you should know what does this word measurement imply? This word measurement is very important from classical to quantum to statistical mechanics. We will start with the most simple definition and the most in the most simple sense with the objects that we see around us and we interact with them, with those objects. So measurement is any act of interaction of the instrument or the experimenter with the subject or the object with which we are trying to measure. And what we get is a number. We get a number. For example, you are measuring the weight of an object. For example, the weight of an object is measured by a balance. 
चाहिए बैलेंस एनी काइंड ऑफ बैलेंस से मैकेनिकल बैलेंस और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैलेंस वी पुट द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द डिस्प्ले ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिस्प्ले ऑफ द वोइंग मशीन बिकॉज वी आर इंटर वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैलेंस ऑलमोस्ट एवरीवेयर सो आई एम राइटिंग दिस वर्ड डिस्प्ले ऑफ द वोइंग मशीन a number 1 kg 2 kg 1 gram 1 mg 1 ton anything so we are getting a number similarly if we are measuring the length of an object by a meter tape or a scale we are getting a, a number with a unit meter centimeter decimeter kilometer so this number is again a very important factor this number is very is again a very significant factor and we must know what this number is actually this number is the magnitude of the parameter under study in numerical form or this is for your understanding this is the most simple case of digitalization 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 means the representation of a quantity representation of a quantity in four bonds digits or numbers this is digitalization this is the concept of digital we are converting we are measuring or we are expressing a particular quantity for example the weight of a body or the length of an object in the form of a number or a digit it is and this is the concept of digitalization we are doing something digitalized digitalized because that number is easy to read and it gives us a as an idea of magnitude of the object. so what we are actually measuring when we are measuring something we are interacting with the system by the instrument and we are getting a number in return so we have we measure a different variety of objects variety of quantities in our day to day life and in experimental process the simplest measurement you are measuring the length of an object for example a pencil with a scale you are getting some result you are getting a number 7 cm 8 cm you are measuring something with a weighing pen and you are getting some result half kilo 1 kilo 2 kilo 3 kilo whatever then again you are measuring if a doctor is measuring the heart rate or the pulse rate then again there is a process of measurement he is counting the heart rate by some way. instrument or some digital instrument you are measuring the blood pressure you are measuring the sugar levels with some instrument so everywhere we are in, we are encountering we are coming across some measurement process now in any case in any measurement i am what i am using here a term or a sentence that is that comes in higher quantum in quantum situation but i am using it here in any measurement process in any measurement process there is an interaction of the instrument instrument with the system which is measured which is measured and this interaction plays a very important part this interaction is of very immense significance this interaction is of immense significance and that this significance the immense significance we observe in the quantum situation for the timing we are not here in the quantum world we are in the classical world now what is this error in scientific sense in the science of measurement in in the sense of scientific 
investigations. So error implies in the case of measurement or in physics or in any experimental science, it is a condition of uncertainty. It is a condition, it is a lack of surety or lack of confidence. Confidence is also a statistical term that we will see later. In the result that we are claiming, if you are measuring something, measuring the height of the door of your room, you get some result from the measuring tape, suppose two meters. But this result, two meters, it has some lack of uncertainty. It may be that something has happened that is taking you away from the exact length of the door. And that factor can be due to the experimental or the person who is measuring. If he has not, if he was not very careful during measurement or any other factor on which he, is, he has no control. So the result two meter is not a certain result. You cannot say that no, this is this result is hundred percent accurate. And I, no, I will not use the word accurate right now. This result is hundred percent. I am sure that it is two meter. Suppose someone else measures this length again and defines the length to be two point one meter. So your result. If not, you re the, that result is differing, but the door is same, meter stick is same, meter tape is same. So this is a lack of uncertainty. For example, if we are measuring the height of a door by a meter tape, and find the result, find the result to be two meters. This result, this number, this result or the number two meter is not to be, is not the exact, I will not write is, may not the exact result. Suppose, let us see how the inexactness comes here, how there is a lack of certainty. Let us see this. Suppose the door is made of some metal and we are measuring when the temperature is about uh, 40 degrees Celsius. It is very hot, 40 degrees Celsius. Then there may be, may be an expansion, expansion. This is one, this is one situation. I will not tell you right, right now what is this situation called. This is one situation that can occur. There may be an ex ex expansion of the metal. In that case, the height will be slightly larger than two meters. In the next situation, if the height is measured in extreme cold season, extreme winter, extreme cold, or in winter season, there may be a contraction in the metal, contraction in the metal. And again, there is a deviation, they were not deviation, let us use simple day-to-day -day words right now. There is a difference of result of two meters that we measured previously. So these are two conditions that are taking you away from the exact result. 
let us consider another such situation and these two conditions they are beyond our control we cannot control them you cannot control the season you cannot control the uh, what do you say the weather conditions they will be there suppose a uh, door is made of wood and we measure it in a hot and dry day and again in a humid day then also the result results will be different so in any case of measurement when we are measuring this is a very simple situation that does not require a uh, formal uh, teaching learning of physics course it is simply a measurement of a length that we every one of us is doing and there are we have seen three factors are there that are not in our control and they can cause our result of measurement of the length to deviate from the exact result from the accurate result so error by error we mean any kind of any factor that takes us Away from the exact result, our results are not exact. We cannot say for sure that this is hundred percent correct result, and it is a fundamental truth that the door is two meters high. There may be differences. So what we are getting is that our the number or the result that we are getting after measurement, it is not an exact result. There is a spread in the halo reported. there is a deviation there is a difference there is a deviation from the exact value so whenever we are doing some measurement our results are not exact results but they are something which lie in a range rather than a exact value the result of our measurement should be that the height of the door is between 2 meter and 2.5 meter we cannot say it is 2 meter or exactly it is 2.5 meter we will take the same example and see there are several other factors that are due to us that are affected by us and they cause our result to spread away to move away from the exact result so what we basically mean by error in physics is the same thing that we are drawing a line with a sharp pencil this this one is blunt of course this one is a sharp pencil and this one is a blunt so what is happening here that error is making this sharp line means a exact value this blurred line or this blunt line has a spread has a thickness this means it has a range our results have a range and they are not exact values we cannot say that our result of our measurement is exactly x units 2 meter we say that the result of our measurement is in the range x plus minus del x which means that the value may be x plus del x to x minus del x we do not have pin point results we have a scattered result let us try to um, let me explain you this thing in a diagrammatic representation suppose this is a scale and you have a value over here let me make this line blue what in the color shape outline red and increase the weight and suppose this line is 2 meters 2 meters or any so this sharp line this this situation it is showing the exact result mean 
exact result means that the length is sharply located located at the point at the point 2 meter and there is no spread means if you are having a paper pin you can pinpoint this 2 meters here this is exact result but in actual practice in actual practice there are forces of error or uncertainties uncertainties that take the result of measurement take the result of measurement away from the exact 2 meter or any value any other value so the situation is like this let me redraw the diagram when we have error or uncertainty suppose this is the line and in case of actual practice in actual practice when we have sources of errors and uh, uncertainties then what happens our result is suppose this is the 2 meter line this one is the 2 meter line Two meter point or the location. This is where you can you have this two meter mass. In actual practice, what we have is that our result is spread from here. To here, plus minus delta. so what we have now in the presence of these factors that our result is lying between these two quantities and what is this this is 2 plus minus then this delta can be anything so basically now we can say we can define that error in any measurement process measurement process measurement process is the uncertainty that is associated associated with the measurement process measurement process and appears in the result so what we say in practical sense we in uh, the uh, in the practical sense of experiment what we may, what we report our result to the best estimate what we report as as the result is the best estimate plus minus the error or uncertainty in that result so in the process of process of reporting the result of any measurement we report the best estimated value estimated value of the measurement of the measurement with the amount of uncertainty amount of uncertainty the quantity plus minus delta plus minus delta 
as described in the above example in the above example is the uncertainty or error in the reported value or measure. This is the uncertainty that we have to, that, that is associated with the measurement process and it becomes, it is inherently associated. And that we have to report. This is the error. This is what we are reporting. Error analysis is the method of studying the amount of amount of this plus minus delta, which is the deviation, which is the uncertainty or inexactness of the actual result. plus minus delta error analysis is the method of studying the amount of delta or the amount of uncertainty in any measurement process this is what we do in error analysis this is what this is the entire process of error and error analysis to report or to show to calculate the amount of delta this shows that how much your results how much your calculations what is the magnitude by which your results differ from the exact result this is the process of error analysis we will come to the tools of error analysis how do we what tools we use for studying these errors uh, for studying this delta or this deviation from the exact value. So error analysis is this method that we will describe, that we will study. There are different tools. There are different techniques, mathematical techniques. So this is the basic of error analysis. What we have to report, we have to report the maximum possible value, maximum possible value of the uncertainty or the error in our measurement process. which means we have to maximize maximize this quantity delta we, which we have to find not maximize we have to find the maximum possible value maximum possible value of delta This maximum possible value has to be obtained. This is error analysis. This is the met method of error analysis. Now the question arises, why do, why we cannot get exact results? What is what are the causes that uh, produce uncertainties in the measurement? What are the factors that take us away from the exact result? There are several factors. There are several factors that take us away. We discussed two of the um, two factors in the previous case. For example, 
let me copy those things here. For example, we take the case of measuring. We are not involved. In, we are not doing any complex measurement or experiment. We are doing that doing a simple measurement that we do almost every day. Every one of us in everyday life. We take the case of measuring the height of a door and the factors that can cause error or uncertainty in measurement are these are some factors these are one type of factors this they are of one type i will tell you what is the type these are of one type the factors above factors above highlighted in yellow are factors that are beyond our control you cannot control these situations you cannot control weather you cannot control temperature of the surrounding you cannot control the humidity of the surrounding these are beyond our control and these factors cause the deviation in exact results these factors lead to the situation lead to the situation to the situation that the measurement of the same dose with the same instrument with the same instrument by the same experimenter by the same person to be different so these things are causing the results to be different in these in three situations however your door is same your um, the same person is measuring the instrument is same everything is same but the results are different in three weather conditions in uh, during uh, hot season during winter season during dry season during humid season so you cannot say that if you if you are measuring the height of the door if it is made of metal when the temperature outside is minus 2 degree celsius it will be the exact result because this height will be different when you measure the height at when the temperature is 40 degree celsius outside there are other factors let them let me write them in different color there are other factors suppose the person who is measuring the height of the door is not careful enough careful enough to read accurately not accurately to read the reading of the meter scale properly he is not able to read the meter scale properly or he is not very careful he is not very serious during the time of measurement he is doing it just in a rough manner so you so the result will not be will not be the correct result in this case also the result will be not the result to be claimed with sure Suppose you call a carpenter, and he is measuring the result, and even you don't know, even you can't uh, uh, say that whether he is very serious in doing the measurement or not. In that case, it is different. It will be different from the actual result. 
सपोज मीटर से और द स्केल विच इज मेजरिंग 